We got the zero in. Oh my God, this is surreal. Couple of cracked frame, couple of spots where the frame is cracked. What kind of power this bike makes? What's up guys, it's your boy Rashad here back at Invoke Pro. I'm so glad to see you guys are really interested in the new bike build. Um, I see that Rich Rebuilds right now has a uh, Zero SR that he's rebuilding. He's running into some issues with frame damage. So uh, it's really exciting to see a major YouTuber get involved with these type of rebuild videos. So guys, I'm gonna jump right into showing you some of the guts of what I'm doing right now to rebuild my bike. Hope you'll follow along and subscribe. And let's get right into it and see what I gotta do to get this bike back up and running. Invoke Pro, baby, let's do it. All right, so guys, it's getting really exciting now. So on the last little clip I showed you, I was just a uh, doing a quick overview of what I was doing as far as tearing the bike down and getting ready to weld it. So here I am now. I'm actually, before I allow the welder to get in there and start moving metal around, I'm going to move some of my components to the side so they're not damaged because this is a $3,000 charger right here. And I really, really, really don't want to mess this up. So uh, it's super easy to disassemble this. Literally the charge tank bolted here. I just unscrewed those four bolts. And here's the wire that goes all the way around into the box here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that connected. And I'm gonna disconnect here and here, which is gonna go towards some high voltage side. So I'm gonna make sure that the system is fully de-energized. And it's simply held on by a single clamp here. And then the whole unit just lifts right out. So the bike is very modular in its design, making it really, really simple to disassemble so that I can take this over to the welder to have it repaired but this is pretty extensive I think this is going to be the biggest problem here the entire member there was sheared off the frame so I'm going to see if he can even handle something like that but I'm pretty sure he can he's a really good really good welder uh, and I'm going to need to move those brake lines also as you can see they run right by the metal that's going to be an area of high, some really high temperature but other than that I don't see any any big concerns because I'm I don't think I'll have to remove the battery because it's far enough away from it to where he could get to where he needs to. The only thing is I see some components back there that are kind of close to the metal and they might get a little warm. So I'm, I'm gonna ask him to see if maybe he thinks that they should, they should maybe be shielded in some type of way or something, but this is where it's gonna be the biggest area. And there's, there's not really many components close by that that can be affected by the heat. So, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. Just these brake lines will need to move and then he should be able to start to move. But I'm gonna take this, I might leave it for now, but I can always move it out, the, out of the way once, uh, once he starts welding. And then the last crack here, just a close up of it. It's right on the frame, but the wires behind it, they're far enough. I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's no wires directly, you know, in, in pro close proximity to that. So we probably, I probably can shield that with something maybe uh, something non-flammable to protect that a little bit as he can get around that with a little bit of TIG and just get that crack sealed in and uh, Yeah, I'm just looking at the crack come close. Yeah, but guys, this this is a super super easy bike to disassemble the the body pair body panels came off with a couple bolts um, I couldn't really show you that because it was kind of tight in there and then the, the rear fairing here also broke But I'm gonna try to rig that up. I might have the guy just weld it not super concerned with this my main thing is getting it welded up initially from the welder, but uh, just some just some more close looks here. As you can see the motor down there looks really good. It's that uh, I believe this is the 75.5 motor, not the 75.7, because the DSR has that 75.7 motor. This has a 75.5 motor, but which is still really really powerful. And I'm just super excited that it has this charger, because this is going to allow me to utilize this bike in many many different ways with with the current infrastructure for charging ev so i'm really excited about that but guys that's just a quick update and that's where we're at right now i uh, hope you enjoy this kind of content let me know if you have any questions concerning this build and the next video i post will be me taking this bad boy to the welder and uh i'll let you see the results if you'll let me record it later invoke pro out